Going into the tenth night without electricity here in the Farrington Valley, the frustration is quite clear. Here's a note from the homeowner, CLNP. You get the tree off the wires and we'll do the rest of the cutting and the cleanup. Tree still on wires, temper's getting short because CLNP, whose president goes on TV saying 100% restoration will be done by Wednesday night, will give no real estimates for when these neighborhoods will get power restored. If they had just been honest and said we were up against a terrible storm and it's going to take weeks, everybody would have been patient, I think. The stories are similar in Avon, Farmington, Canton, and Granby. Simsbury First Select Woman Mary Glassman has to tell residents that CLNP won't tell her anything. Desperate times have developed creative solutions. We're bringing it to, neighbor, to our different neighbors, uh, six different households, and so we started up um, connected to the boiler and we bring an extension cord as well for uh, each neighbor gets it for a couple hours yeah uh, each neighbor gets it for two hours that's the cycle we're running uh, so a 12-hour shift basically between the six simsbury started the day with 28 percent out then it shot up to 40 percent that's happening in other towns in this region as well we just feel abandoned you know it's really how it is and you just you see the numbers you know getting higher with everyone else getting power and we're just not getting information. This is just one of 20 communities still considered in critical need of help and desperate need of information. CLMP won't say when the lights are on but you've been living here all through this and when do you think they'll uh, My guess right now or our best guess is uh, end of the day Thursday. So that's as good as uh, Jeff Butler's suggestion so. <laughs> <laughs> just two hours to get your house warm and to wash up. How long can this go on? There are crews working on the problem. These guys are from North Carolina. But for all of the damage here in the Farmington Valley, it's quite clear there are not enough crews. In Simsbury, Mark Davis, News 8.